Bellish returns to Runestone and greets Robin Aaron and Yon Royce. Yon quickly voices his suspicion of Bellish's involvement in Sansa's marriage to Ramsay Bolton since Bellish had told Yon that Sansa was going to the fingers with him. With the intention of manipulating Robin, Bellish responds by falsely claiming the Boltons ambushed Sansa and Bellish on the way to the fingers and insinuates that Yon leaked the information to the Boltons. Robin suggests having Yon thrown through the moon door for this false treason but asks for Bellish's advice on what to do with Yon. Bellish responds that if Yon can ensure his loyalty to Robin Aaron, which Yon quickly gives, that Yon should be given a final chance. Bellish then immediately follows up and tells Robin that he has learned that Sansa has fled Winterfell and will likely head to her half-brother Lord Commander Jon Snow at Castle Black for protection, though the Boltons will pursue her. Robin responds that since Sansa is his cousin, he should help her. Bellish takes his cue and orders Yon to gather the Knights of the Vale to rescue Sansa from the Boltons. This brings an end to the neutrality of House Arryn, which until then had steered clear of the War of the Five Kings. Later, Bellish sends a letter to Sansa at Castle Black asking to meet in Mole's town. Sansa travels to Mole's town with Brienne and confronts Bellish about her marriage to Ramsay, coldly asking if he knew the truth about Ramsay's sadistic side all along or if he was unaware and therefore, just stupid. Bellish responds that he made a mistake, trusting a stranger, and apologizes profusely, horrified at what Ramsay did, but has rallied the Knights of the Vale to her cause and that the army is encamped at Moat Kalen. Sansa refuses his offer, saying that Bellish cannot help her, that he cannot even help himself if she orders Brienne to strike him down. She tells him that she already has her brother John's help and they will rally other northern houses to their cause. She finishes by warning him never to speak to her again. Bellish, as he prepares to leave, tells Sansa of her great-uncle Brendan Tully's success in recapturing Riverrun and suggests reaching out to him for support. Before he leaves, he reminds Sansa of John's bastardy. When failing to rally enough houses to their side, Sansa secretly writes Bellish to take him up on the offer she previously rejected. Bellish arrives with the Vale Knights of House Arryn just when the Stark force is about to be massacred in the Battle of the Bastards, and the Vale forces easily wipe out what remains of the Bolton army. Bellish is present when 1-1 smashes down the door to Winterfell and witnesses John defeat Ramsay in combat. House Stark is subsequently restored as Lords of Winterfell and Ramsay is executed. In the bottle's aftermath, Bellish approaches Sansa in the Godswood and finally admits that his goal is to sit on the Iron Throne with Sansa as his queen. Despite Bellish having declared for House Stark, Sansa refuses to trust him, due to Bellish's tendency to betray those he declares for his own well-being. Upon Sansa's refusal of him, Bellish attempts to convince Sansa that she should rule the North, calling John a motherless bastard. Bellish is later present at the meeting where John is proclaimed the new king in the north by the northern lords along with the Vale lords. Bellish is the only one who does not cheer, and instead stares at Sansa.